Okay, so here's something different that you don't see every day. And some people know what it is, and some people don't know what it is, and they may have never heard of it before. But what you're looking at here, let me get you a little closer if I can. Here's a little piece. What you're looking at here is called wart. Okay, it's different than moss. I'll, I'm going to try to look up the exact species of wart this is, and I'll put it in the title and everything. But this is very different than moss, but it, they grow together for, very commonly. But this is wart. Now, I don't know if this is edible, so don't eat it because I have no idea. But I'll, get, I'll try to give you a close-up of it. And you can see there's like all these little podule things there. And it, that's how it reproduces. I guess that's how it makes its seeds. And if you take peat moss and you let it, you know, ripen and grow and you let the moss form on it and eventually you start, you know, you start to get stuff that looks like this and you let it turn into a moss because peat moss will actually reactivate itself. It'll actually start to turn into this again at the whole top layer of it. But in mixed in between that, you will find this stuff, and that's called wart. So I just figured I'd show you this. I happened to take this out of one of my old pots. I left. If you leave it go long enough, like I say, it will eventually. Uh, this stuff will end up popping up on you. And if you if you learn to grow it correctly, it grows pretty cool looking. It makes these little pods and stuff. And it's it. This is excellent for a ter terrarium or terranium or, or valerium. Or it's great for a terranium, you know, where you're going to keep turtles and frogs and things. This stuff is great because uh, they will eat it, plus it'll grow back pretty quickly, and it looks really cool. It looked very prehistoric. Okay, so just wanted to show you uh, wart, if you've never seen it before. Uh, this would be a good uh, introduction for you, and you could look into it, and you could try cultivating it yourself. And uh, just grow it out. I'm going to try to grow this out a little bit. I'm going to find a nice spot where I can grow it. I was going to put it in a pond, but the pond tends to get a little rough sometimes. So I'm going to maybe try to plant it in here and see if it'll grow. It's hard to say. It needs a very certain kind of growing condition, right kind of lighting, the right kind of heat, the right amount of moisture, that kind of stuff. All right. So uh, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.